Hi, this is Robinson from Pour One Malt, doing another label lesson. Now today I'm going to talk about oak, not the casks that are made from oak. I've already done that one with if the cask had cognac in it or sherry or bourbon or whatever it was. I've done that and I'll, I'll put that link below. What I'm going to talk about today is specifically the oak itself. Now the law in Scotland is it if you're going to call it scotch, you've got to age it in oak. It can't be aged in any other kind of wood. But there's a lot of oak out there. There's actually 600 species of oak around the world. There's 22 species that grow in Europe, 90 grow in the USA, 100 in China, and 160 species grow in Mexico. Now the one that's used the most is American white oak. This one's used the most for whiskey and it's also used for wine. It tends to give sweet notes, uh, things like vanilla, coconut, um, tropical fruit flavors into your whiskey. Now here's a map showing where American white oak grows. This is the native area it grows in North America. And here's another map showing where European oak grows. It grows across a lot of different areas. Most of the uh, European oak that we use for Scotch whiskey comes from Spain or France, and it's previously been used in sherry, port, cognac, armagnac, or wine. But this map shows where it grows. It grows in a lot of places. Now Spanish oak tends to give you notes that are drier, spicier, uh, dried fruits, cinnamon, uh, some citrus sort of orange notes. Uh, French oak tends to be more savory and uh, sweet, like tobacco notes, nutty notes, chocolate, cedar. Now, sometimes on your label, you'll see Scottish oak. Now, there's not a lot of oak left in Scotland, so it's pretty rare, but you do occasionally see Scottish oak on the label. I'll show a few examples here. Scottish oak tends to give nice, warm, spicy character to the whiskey. Now, you may also see a Japanese oak on the label. Mozanara oak is an, an oak that's native to Japan and is used a lot in Japanese whiskey. And occasionally the casks come to Scotland and are used in Scotland. Here's a few examples that use Mozanara oak. Another one you might see on the label is Chinapin oak. Now, here's a couple examples of that. Glen Allachie specifically has been using some Chinapin, and they've also used it in Meikle Tour. Now, Chinapin oak is in the white oak, the, the American white oak family, and it grows in these areas. Here's a, here's a chart of where it grows. Now, this is a particular oak that I like quite a bit. I think it adds a nice spicy character, cinnamon character to the whiskey. And sometimes it doesn't say the oak on the label, but you can make a pretty intelligent guess. If it's been finished in a tequila or a mezcal cask, like this one here, there's a real good chance that that's going to be a Mexican oak. If the label says Takai on it, Takai is a wine from Hungary, and that usually means the cask is going to be Hungarian oak. Another thing you might see now and again, I have an example here, is when they say hybrid oak. Now this one uh, says it here on the label, but hybrid oak is a cask that's been made from different kinds of oak. So they may take partially European oak, partially American oak, and make the cask out of that. Now it used to be that if it was a sherry cask or a pork cask, it's guaranteed to have been European oak. And that's not necessarily the case anymore. Sometimes, and I've got an example right here, sometimes it's American oak that's been used to make the sherry cask. They're actually shipping American oak over, making the cask, putting sherry or port in it, and then reusing the cask in Scotland to finish Scotch whiskey. Okay, and the last oak I'm going to talk about is the cork. Cork actually comes from an oak as well. It's called the cork oak, and it comes from the southern part of Europe and the northern part of Africa. Now, the Scotch Whiskey Association has sets the rules here in Scotland as to what cast and what oak can be used, um, and it has to be oak, as I've said. But there are some experiments going on. One of the companies doing experimentation is Strathairn. They have uh, put some spirit, can't use the word scotch because it's not oak, but they've put some spirit in uh, cherry wood, chestnut wood, uh, mulberry. So there are some experimentations going on. Another one I have here, this is a Norwegian whiskey, and this one was finished in a teak cask. So now if you'd like me to do a, a 
review of any of these experimental things that are not in oak, I could do that. Just pop a, a comment below and I could try to do a review of those. Now, there are over 22 million casts of Scotch whiskey aging around Scotland, and every one of them tastes a little different than the one that's sitting right beside it. That's the beauty of single cask bottlings, is that every one is unique. Now, I'm enjoying a single cask right now. I hope you're enjoying a drama as well. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. Please tell a friend, and uh, please hit that subscribe button. Slanjava.